part of that gold medal squad from last summer. And Kieran Smith with his Olympic history bronze in the 400 from Tokyo and six in the 200 at those Olympics and at the world's last summer individual. Well, guys have broken 146 this year. Four of them from the United States all did that in the preliminaries this morning. As I mentioned, Carson Foster was one of those guys, and he just said, I, I wanted to put myself on the relay. And I think that's what Katie Ledecky swam the 200 freestyle for. Wanted to put herself on the relay, not going to swim it. He decided not to swim this. I want to concentrate on the 200 and 400 IM. That's what Foster told me. And I think that's a real unselfish move in a sport that can be in many ways selfish. And I was really proud of him for making that decision, knowing that he wasn't for sure going to swim it. Kieran Smith certainly going to swim it and usually swims it pretty well mm -hmm. in a world and Olympic finalist in this race in lane six. The Florida Gator originally from Ridgefield, Connecticut, presenting Ridgefield Aquatic Club. Racing out to the advantage by a little over three tenths with Kibler there in second. It, you know, the thing is about the 200 freestyle, you, you can't be afraid to get out there, and I don't want to use the word float because it's not floating, but you can't be out there. You got to be out there and get under 51. Smith right there in 51 flat. If they're going to be able to race the likes of a Matthew Richards or a Tom Dean or a Papa Beach from Romania, now that's going to be a great race, no doubt about it. Smith trying to hang in there. Here comes Hobson now. Strong effort in lane number four to push himself towards second and maybe first. Hobson looking really good. Look at that kick behind him. He's going to go by both of them. How about this furious final 50 for Luke Hobson? Going to roll his way here to a U.S. national title. Wow. 145.18 just off his lifetime best. Well, you, now you can count five guys that have broken 146 because you can add Kieran Smith, who got second in that race by 12 one hundredths of a second over Kibler. And how about these splits? I said you got to go out in 50 point. Well, not if you're Luke Hobson. If you want to make the team, he's 52 flat, 53-1 coming home. How about that for basically an even split type race? There he is right there. Looking good at the 150, third at the 150, but not by much. Four tenths behind Smith, two tenths behind Kibler. This has got the makings of a great 800 freestyle relay for the United States. You got five guys all under 146. And Jake Mitchell got fourth, he's 46-2. That's real good. So the win in comeback fashion for Luke Hobson, Smith, Kibler, and Mitchell, the top four. How about Baylor Nelson, the 20-year-old from Aggie Swim Club in fifth? And 17-year-old Henry McFadden from the Jersey Wahoos, sixth potentially going on a relay for Japan this summer. Kira's with our winner. Luke, wow, what a race. Just take us through that last 50. Um, I knew that they would be out fast, and this morning I had a really good back half and just tried to replicate from this morning and happy that I worked out and could get the win and stoked to punch my ticket. Just describe the emotions of having Japan in your sights. Uh, it's super exciting. Um, you know, I knew it could happen and I'm just, just super glad it, it did. You've had so much success with the NCAAs. How have you be, been able to translate that short course success into long course success? Um, Really just staying on it, keeping working hard in practice and hit the taper here and super happy to see that. Congratulations. Thank you. Luke Hobson going to have the opportunity to represent the United States at a long course world championships for the first time after winning that 200 free national crown.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the awards ceremony for the men's 200 freestyle. Presenting awards, a member of the gold medal winning 4x200 meter freestyle relay from the 2012 Olympic Games, please welcome Olympian Charlie Houchin. Touching third in a time of 145.75, representing Carmel Swim Club, Drew Kibler. Silver medalist in 145.63 from Ridgefield Aquatic Club, Kieran Smith. Latest awards ceremony from Indianapolis underway. And the gold being given out to Luke Hobson after his Furious final 50 to take the win in the men's 200 freestyle. Kieran Smith, silver, Drew Kibler, the bronze. 26-5, by the way, on the end for Hobson. Jake Mitchell came home in a blasting 26-7. Zane Crothy got seven, 26-6, but nobody was quicker the last 50. The fans enjoying it here in Indianapolis. Getting ready for more B-Final coverage. Women's 